Moshe Rabbeinu Rabotai, the Torah tells us, before he went into Mitzrayim, by the Geulah, by the redemption of Egypt, after the long Geulah, the torture of the Egyptians of the Mitzrayim, Moshe Rabbeinu was walking in the Midbar, and the famous, everybody knows this part of the Torah, Moshe Rabbeinu was walking and he saw a snare, he saw the bush was burning, was bo'el be'esh ve'le'uka, but it wasn't actually burning. The tree was actually still alive. See, even though there was a lot of fire consuming the tree, the bush, but the bush was still not burning, it was still there. So Moshe Rabbeinu noticed something odd, he turns around, and then Hashem came to him with Hamalach, and he told him, you're going to go redeem the Jewish people. Many Sfarim HaKadoshim ask a simple question. Why is this simple of the snare? The symbol of the snare, the symbol of the burning bush. Why is that the introduction to the Geulah, to the redemption, when Moshe Rabbeinu, who was Mashiach, came and take Am Yisrael, the Jewish people, out of Mitzrayim? What does this whole snare symbolize? What is Hashem trying to tell Moshe Rabbeinu in Kla Yisrael that right after Moshe Rabbeinu saw the burning bush that wasn't burning, then the Geulah happened, then Mashiach came and took you out of the, out of the situation that Gilut you in? Say the Sri Magdashim, a powerful lesson, and I believe very strongly, and I'm sure everybody here agrees, that we're witnessing this pshat that happened to Moshe Rabbeinu as we speak. Say the Chachamim, Hashem was trying to tell Moshe Rabbeinu a message. Even though the Jews in Mitzrayim, we know Rabbutai, the Jews in Mitzrayim, Mitzrayim reached a level of Mem Tetchare Tumah, the 49th level of impurity. Which means, in short, the Jews weren't doing well when it comes to spirituality. They were not doing well, and you know, it was very hard for them being next to Egyptians and being tortured all day, but they were doing very, very bad when it comes to spirituality. So Hashem wanted to show Moshe Rabbeinu a message. You see this bush? You see this snare? You see that it's full of fire, but it's not burning? You're wondering, how is this scientifically possible? That's why you turned your neck, Moshe Rabbeinu, and trying to understand what is going on over here. So too, every single Jewish person, even though there's fire consuming them around them, even though they could be full of averot, even though they could be around people they don't want to be around, even though they could go through so much ish, so much tragedies and pain, and yisurim inside the exile, you should know, inside of them, you can never break a Jewish neshama. Inside of them, no matter what happens, they're not going to fall apart, they're not going to break. So even though Klai Yisrael is in the 49th Sharet Tumah, even though it looks to you spiritually that I'm doing well, I'm God, Hashem told Moshe Rabbeinu, I know what's going on. Every single one of those Jews in Mitzrayim right now can be redeemed. Inside of them, they're very strong, and they did not break the emunah and HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So Hashem's sign with the snare and the symbol of Batai is tremendous.